Hello everybody, welcome to Blitz Pit round number one. Um, Skurometto is going to do the commentary for me so I can concentrate. Um, I'm up against Coley and XXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXX
Nope, not picking up. Oh, interesting. Okay. There we go. Goes gets the pick up in the dodge, no problems. Looks like we're going full Venga bus, folks. Will Jim get a single block off? He might just have to resign himself to uh, blitzing that <laughs> that Zom. Nope. And there it is. Jim's third dice roll of the game is a one, I think. And now Colian gets to slap some armor eight. I think the way this is going, we're going to have Jim in commentary by about turn four. Colian blocking for the extra hit here. Um, that extra hit does have block there. And he gets him down. Good, uh, good decision making there by Colian. And so all things considered, I mean, this is already pretty awful, but Jim's got the ball in hand and got a nice cage around it. So, uh, you know, as, as, as Dark Elves, he can kind of, he, he can recover from this better than a lot of other teams. Um, he just needs these hits to kind of hold up well. Now, here's an interesting, uh, here's an interesting conundrum. What's he going to do with this wool? He's going to, yep, well, he's going to burn a reroll and now, here we go. The wolf is going to base itself. And uh, there. Jim can actually uh, consider, well, he has to risk his witch, but if he blitzes his witch, he could actually chain another guy out there if he so wanted to. But with dodge, he probably doesn't need to worry about chaining a dark elf free. Uh, so disaster has not truly struck after that blitz. I think uh, Jim's coming out of this a little bit stronger than uh, than he could have been. Jimmy using the first third of his turn to do, or first half of his turn now, to uh, read the field. Probably trying to figure out the safest way to pop a hit on that wolf and then disengage most of his team. And he's going with the ball carrier blitz on him. Pays off, gets the knockdown. Would have been a huge armor break, but doesn't get anything for it. But here he goes. Now he can just... Uh, Make a couple two pluses, two of them with free rerolls, and he is going to be safe. Really, uh, all things considered, pretty solid recovery on Jim's part there. Thought that was a bad decision on that wolf block. Not for Jim, for for Coley and X X X X X X X X X. And tackle paying off there. Jim's about 60% on his dodging right now. Still early. And yeah, now a couple of his downed elves are going to get kind of swarmed around. That's going to be a little bit little bit tough to deal with. Kind of press him in on that right side. <laughs> he gets the witch with tackle. This could be bad. 
just the stun. And it looks like Jim is going to try and create a little bit of separation here again. Uh, he's still going to have to dodge because of the block, but not a problem for the elves. Probably going to see that witch get away from the tackler. Sure are. But Mighty Blow is on that other side. I don't. Uh, he doesn't have much he can do there, though. Hard to get an assist without uh, some dodging. And yeah, now Jim's in, not in any sort of hurry here. It's only turn three for him. He's just got to wait for that uh, witch to stun and get out to safety. Uh, Colian does have a single bench. Uh, he could could consider a uh, a foul over on that witch. Could get a pretty good one too if he blitz one of those linemen off. But if he does that, he's kind of giving up the left side. I think. That's pretty good. I, I like those fleshies there. Kind of just stand firm right in the middle of the field. He's going to try and double layer screen a little bit on that left. And so that's going to have to force Jim to either go through a fleshy, knock one down, or uh, or he's going to get mired glorious. for a couple turns over no, there while those uh, zombies me. on the right uh, Until swing I'm back victorious. over. Looks like he is going to go for the dirty player foul here, maybe. I will GFI, defend. and then the with the down guy. Zunk. Yep, gets the GFI. So pretty scary foul coming. And nothing rolls a three. That Jim's got a. Jim's got to be happy about that. And now four players tied up over there. Jim can just swing right back. Yep, which is what he's doing. That was a... Uh, that was a... Uh, I mean, he didn't lose a player, at least, Colian, But uh, that could have been... Uh, <laughs> that was about as bad a foul as he could have gotten. Also, uh, J Can Style, thank you for the sub. Thirty nine months—that's a bunch of beaver pregnancies. And uh, yeah, I guess you can get a title shot for the uh, Golden Fagor. Glorious. And now, yeah, Jim now has a nice lane uh, to kind of move up that right side. And look at that. <laughs> Cheeky bit of dodging there. And uh, Colian's going to have some problems uh, slowing him down now. Might have overcommitted just a little bit against the, uh, against the Dark Elves. Couple pals of the great equalizer, though. Let's see what Colian's got in him. Mm. Looks like he's just gonna keep for trying to corral all of the elves on one side. He's probably gonna hit this. Uh, 
Uh, maybe not. Thought he was going to just hit this lino as he moved that wolf back over. Ah, he's gonna, yep, okay, he's gonna blitz the other lineman, the forward lineman there. And he gets a, just a stun again. Jim getting, I wouldn't say lucky, but Jim, uh, Jim's armor holding up thus far, averting some disaster. Jim does not have any tackle to deal with those ghouls. Um, otherwise, that would be a pretty uh, tempting hit on that sure hands ghoul right there. And here it is. The uh, <laughs> the turn timer coming into play. Blitz bit. One minute turns. you got to be quick on your feet. Colian's going to end this one with basically double zero or triple zeros. Not quite. Oh, and he is uh, he is hitting that that uh, ghoul anyway. Pretty nice little uh, if he if he can get him out, and he doesn't. Let's say if he could uh, manufacture a better hit there or, or knock that ghoul down, he's got a nice cage. But he's still gonna go in. Yeah, he's still going in with the uh, the witch elf on the tackler. That's a big hit to worry about if you're Colian. Do not want to lose the tackler. Yeah, yeah, true. Yeah, absolutely. True, my book here. And, yep, yeah, Jim, I mean, I don't know what <laughs> I don't know what we were thinking, though. I mean, <laughs> there was no way Jim wasn't rolling all. I mean, he's just rolled six pushes there. <laughs> Artemis called that one pretty early on. Uh, so now Jim's got to get at least one more elf, I think, in front of the ball. But he can just, after this elf gets forward, yeah. Ooh, interesting. I, I wouldn't have, I wasn't thinking there. I was thinking one to the right, just to close that off. Oh, fair enough. Yeah, yeah, Jim's gonna have a fair few push turns too. <laughs> I gotta believe. Um, but hey, putting that putting the tackler on his ass for a turn uh, is pretty good, and that's an interesting. It's kind of an interesting issue that Colian XXXXXXX has with his team. So he's got his tackler for this game. He's got his tackler, his block tackler in the white. But he really just wants to be hitting with Mighty Blow on the Wolf uh, or, you know, Mighty Blow on the White. But really, he wants to be hitting every turn Qua Mighty. And he, he kind of can't do that against this uh, Blodge Heavy team. Yeah. And yeah, now now those uh, now those fleshies, uh, they're kind of be playing catch up here. Although this other one can be pretty relevant if he goes up next to the downed, uh, the downed uh, line elf. And now Jim's going to have to either squeeze through or try and cut back with only three turns to go. Dark Elves, not slow, but by Elf standards, not exactly fast. <laughs> Makes the go for it, too, to really wedge him in there. So this is going to be interesting. This is a... Uh, a little, little tight for Jim. I don't know if I would have chained the ball. Th well, I don't think it really matters. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, Flicky. 
I didn't really even think about that at first. I was just watching the tackle, and I was like, well, yeah, he's got a he's got a blitz with that tackle white. But uh, and not every team he faces won't be like that. Like this is probably the most watch heavy team, and uh, other than K folks, which is the exact same team. But um, yeah, 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 my but it is. But I don't know. I think Jim's not moving directly forward this turn anyway. So if anything, you're saving him a square, having to cut backwards. And so, yeah, Jim can protect the ball by running back here. But now he's going to struggle a little bit. I don't really know what he does here to keep ahead of Coley and, and ensure that he still has a chance to score. But maybe that's a, a problem that next turn Jim has to figure out. When you only have a minute to work these things out, it's hard to think ahead sometimes. And here it is. Timer. Oh, he goes for the triple reds. Dirtiest of dingoes. And he gets it. Look at that. And now he's going to milk that timer a little bit. And he gets it again. Five red dice. Does not screw him. And that is just a miracle play. Two seconds on the board. Wolf. Uh, Wolf. Uh, Witch in scoring range. <laughs> that was pretty glorious. She's going to get tackled. Yeah, she's absolutely going to get tackle hit right now. Maybe should have thought about the GFIs, but I think, let's see. Yeah, he'd be doing GFIs to make Coley and do GFIs, so probably not worth it. Uh, this is a huge hit, though. Real Coley really needs to break armor here, and he does. And that drastically reduces Jim's chances of scoring this half. But hope is not lost. It might spread Coley in just thin enough where Jim can get into scoring position uh, and uh, have a shot, have a shot to score a touchdown. Yeah, Flicky, hundred percent agree. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah honestly i i don't know that the blitz really wrecked this drive i think that turn of all pushes was actually far more detrimental to his positioning in the in the last couple turns anyway i mean obviously you, you don't not you know you don't want to get blitzed on and it's always going to hurt you. But I, I just think the last couple turns where Jim really needed something and he made up for it with that five red dice by the witch, but uh, it wasn't enough, unfortunately. Yeah. So, I mean, he does have the movement to get, Yeah, he does have the movement to get the uh, the runner with, or no, that's the blitzer side, the blitzer with the ball into scoring range himself to maybe try and avoid uh, avoid avoid a handoff or pass play in the rain. Uh, two rerolls, two turns, so he's got a shot at this, but boy, is he hemmed in. Uh, Colian's um, in your face attitude on this one has kind of been paying off for him. And that does start with that blitz. He was just like right off the bat, right up on the line against Jim. Oh, I believe that my... Yep. <laughs> my replay has frozen. I'm going to reset it in a second. I'm just going to watch Jim on delay here. 
as he, uh, yeah, just kind of doing what he can to get a scoring threat in place and try and get some semblance of a cage around him. Hasn't used his reroll yet. Looks like the witch is in. Oh, he might have something here. It's going to take a little bit of extra luck. I don't know why Blood Bowl cannot handle doing a replay without a breaking anymore. All right, getting back into it. Oh, no, he ran out of time. Awful. The uh, three quarters of a cage, though. So, hope is not lost. Three quarters of a cage. Jim has one, two, three, four scoring threats. Going to be hard for Coley to cover all of them, so probably wants to go after the ball. Does he also stretch himself and try and get a scoring threat with that wolf right there? That might be... Uh, that's a tough call. Colian wants to score if he can, obviously, but uh, he might need the players right now. There's a lot of a lot of elves that can do some stuff here if he doesn't uh, completely lock the ball down. Chess football. It's uh, <laughs> no, it is blood bowl. It is a fantasy, like not fantasy football, but fantasy football. Uh, kind of game. It is turn-based and RNG-based, so it can be, uh, yeah, it's, it's uh, flows like chess, but plays with more RNG, and that's a that's an apode blitzer, but he is fine. Here comes the wolf on the ball. Two shots at it. Pushes him closer. And there's the dubs. And he finally gets the pow. Doesn't break armor, though. And the ball gets two shots at the ball. And now the ball is not in a tackle zone. And there's a white right there to try a four plus on it. Nope, not even trying it. Oh, yeah. Sure hands over there to grab it. And sure, hands can't handle it, but now, ball in two tackle zones. So Jim has a legitimate shot at this, but it's gonna take some uh, take some doing, that's for sure. One's his dodge there. Looking to maybe he might. I, the question is, does he scatter, scatter the ball in the white uh, by hitting the white onto it, or does he just try and go for clearing? It looks like he's going for the scatter. Dangerous with the frenzy player. And now does he even does he consider not doing it now that he knows he got him down? He does. Nice armor break, but not gonna help him out just to stun. And ball lands in a tackle zone anyway, that's unfortunate. Alright, so now it's gonna take some significant dice from Jim. He gets them, gets the big ones. But now what? Two GFIs, I think. And a pass? Makes the first one. Oh, he's going to try it from there. Does not make the 50-50. Oh, and he's got it. Will he catch it? He does, and he scores. What a play by Jim. Oh, my goodness. Dreams do come true, ladies and gentlemen. Hell of a score. Took some doing, but you can't really take much away from Jim's luck there because he uh, he had kind of the worst of it getting into it. <laughs> but he's got to feel pretty good about that one now. Whew. Big sigh of relief from him. 
And uh, not for nothing, that is an empty Kaz box and KO box for Jimmy. If he can get through these three LOS hits unscathed, uh, things are looking real good for him. Well, against against the you know the the claw mighty another mighty and a tackler coming out with no damage you got to feel pretty good hell of a score that that's what we call the Jim the Jimmy Min Max Tastic special he's getting his ass kicked all match and then in in, in with the rock bottom for the one two three. Seriously, though, uh, uh, part of that score owed to <laughs> Witch Elf doing a triple red into a double red die blitz to get herself free. <laughs> that, um, that, that took some doing. Yeah, I was thinking that too, Fat. I think the dice worked out for him either way, but, I mean, they obviously did. But, uh, yeah, I also was like, I was expecting the second the uh the second gfi as well all right so we've got a quick snap but colian did not set up for a one turn that i can see le moment de vérité. um <laughs> How's it going, Legs? A lot. Tout est dans l'intimidation. C'était une de mes spécialités quand je jouais encore. And that's one down with uh, no armor break. Jim would love to get out of this without any damage. I'm all right. I'm all right. Figured uh, Jim needed to concentrate. What with this being one minute turns and all, and. Uh, his uh, somewhat messy history <laughs> of blitz fit performances. So I figured I'd jump in and uh, do the call for him. And look at that. He just a foul of the bear. And now this foul could really bite Coley and XXXXXXX in the ass. Does he gym foul it? Doesn't gym foul, so still the bench for the second half and uh, and overtime. I'm going to refresh my water, folks. I will be right back as the second half kicks off. <laughs> wow, Jim. Yeah, good call. The uh, who's that? Oh, you're so bright yellow. I can't even see Dr. Mama Bosco. Jim with the disrespect <laughs> offset LOS. Colian looking to uh, looks like he's just setting up to shut down a shut down a counter blitz here. And instead, oh, this could be bad. And it's horrible for Jim. Oh, boy. Absolutely horrible for Jim. Now, at least the mighty blow claw is also down. But Jim basically doesn't have a team. Kickoff's just not going his way today. Bon, ben, la question, Jim. Repose-moi la question quand le terrain dégouline 
Uh, the good thing, though, is because Jim has a full team, <laughs> even though they're mostly stunned right now. Yeah, exactly, Fad. That's exactly where I'm going with it. Hey, good day, Nick. Uh, <laughs> it, uh, oh, another stun there. Um, this doesn't really do a whole lot for Colian unless he's got big brass balls and thinks he can win it in regular time. Uh, I don't think he's going to try that, though. So really, it just lets him consolidate and, uh, you know, go through his eight-turn drive anyway. <laughs> And Jim, finally, an elf gets hit and not stunned. <laughs> what, a, what a ridiculous turn. If you're, uh, if you're keeping score at home, every single player, except for, what, two on Jim's team, is stunned. And, uh, you know, to be completely honest with you, you can make the argument that Coley is not doing a good enough job to lock Jim's team down. Uh, when there's nothing that he has, like, like Jim can't do anything next turn anyway, but he can get an elf away, and there is an injury, and that elf is sitting out. Uh, so Jim down a blitzer, sake, but out goes the dirty shit. player. And Jim coming into this game with no bench, he's already used the Apo, so everything that hits now sticks. If you want to be part of Team Positive... Then uh, you've got to fucking suck it up. Oh. Stop bitching like a little baby. And Jim just starts us off with... Eh? Oh, no. Uh, the 50 percenter to just try and free him because there's not much else he can do. KOs himself. Well, if I were Jim, I'd just keep his players down for the rest of the half. Colleen can't really afford to foul again now that uh, now that he's got a player up. So, uh, Jim... Uh, Jim, one of the uh, one of the uh, inventors of the <laughs> sit on the other side of the field and pound technique that he's uh, utilized in Rebel in the past. Uh, yeah, it is overtime. It is overtime, and it is a double elimination tournament. So uh, whoever does lose this game will be playing another game of Blood Bowl as punishment. Um, they are not free to go after this. Looks like Colian might be considering to foul anyway. This could bite him in the ass. Probably still worth it, though, because it's just a zombie. And there it is, instantly punished for it. Jim fouls, gets himself sent off, and now his advantage is gone just like that. Yeah, if I were Jim, I would just run the fuck away. Maybe stay down and see if he's dumb enough to keep fouling, but I think after that send-off, he's not fouling anymore. Look, Jim looking to maybe try a try a single hit on this. Uh, no, he's just going to dodge away. Probably wants to protect that AV7 runner a little bit. Yeah, I mean, that foul, I, I can understand. Like, yeah, it's a fair trade to try. Oh, man. 50% is not working for Jim now, but, like, what are you, what are you, you going to really expect there? Um, I can understand going for the foul on the, elf, on the witch elf. I mean, it's a zombie for a witch elf, but he got exactly what the worst-case scenario was going to yield. And now here's the the mighty blow hit on the runner. Nope, two pushes. Gets him into tackle now, or mighty blow again. What's pick your poison? Goes with the mighty blow, another push. All right, can this can this runner, can Moradan tank the entire <laughs> undead or uh, necro team? He cannot. Finally taken down, but no mighty blow this time, and he does survive it. Interesting decision to do all those hits without moving that ball at all. No, it's just a 1D, but there's a free 1D blitz right there, as is. 
And now I'm a little curious what This uh this ball is not safe and it's not going to be safe after this. Well, that pow helps. <laughs> pow helps him out a little bit, but uh, Jim uh, Jim could manufacture a hit on this for not not too much. The question is, how much does Jim really want to stick his neck out there to maybe try and stop a score? when he's uh, currently kind of ahead in the count for overtime. Oh, yeah, I would definitely... If I'm Coley and I'm definitely playing for overtime at this point, unless I'm get, You know, unless he gets, like, three Kaz next turn or something silly, but... You know, Jim doing kind of the right things here. I'm just really surprised, like... He could have let Jim roll some... I mean, he, Jim's not going to do it, but... Jim could have rolled some dice to hit the ball. He's just going for the 1D... Oh, and he gets it because that is not a blodger. <laughs> Dirty. And the six-plus catch in the ring. <laughs> oh, boy. But now that might just force the score. Colian's not going to be able to... Pre that was a real, really weird turn last turn for Colian. I, I really think that forces the score right now. And Jim might have a chance to win this in regular time. Huh. I don't know if I like basing the mighty blow. Ooh. And now not only is uh, it, the score pretty much forced, but now it's not even certain. <laughs> Yeah, I, I agree with that too, Fat. And I don't. Yeah, Jim, Jim's not taking any dumb risks at this point. And the 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 flesh golem blitzing without block, without tackle on a blodger. Not really sure what that was achieving, especially from that angle. Oh, but he gets the there's the mighty blow removal. And that that's gonna that's gonna hurt a little bit. Now Jim if he can if he has a good shot at shutting this down, he might take it. Yeah, I don't yeah, I haven't liked the last couple turns by calling all that much. I mean <clears throat> What's he even doing with this ball? I guess he can retreat a little bit, but not that much. Taking block again, blockless one and nine hits with the ball triple based on a on a wrestler. And he he does make his dodge. Hi. I don't know about this. This ball sure doesn't look that safe to me. And he... Oh, a dirty... A dirty foul there on the runner. Only one assist. Gets the removal. Jim's going to be fuming about that. And now the numbers game is adding up. Jim's probably... Jim's probably thinking he's going to have to start really trying to win this in regular time. And he's not getting any love. Yeah, those last two turns from Coley and XXXXXXX were uh, questionable. And now Jim just riding those red dice once again. Oh, that was a glorious hit. 
Unfortunately, just gets doesn't reroll there. That's probably that's a good good one not to reroll. Hasn't blitzed yet though. But where is he gonna have to hit? Where is he gonna hit from here? Going on the other ghoul? No, on the tackler. Gets him down too. And now, uh, hmm, might bring that witch back here. Because right now it's pretty, it's pretty much just a wolf block, and then a, and then a one and nine away with the, with the ghoul again. Well, you can't really prevent that anyway. So a couple one and nines for uh, Colian to make here to to kind of rescue himself. And he does pal the Blodger right off the bat. Does not crack armor. That's a big no break for Jim. And another another blockless blitz gets it. But now, how does he keep the ball safe? That's going to be the question for the rest of this game. Oh, and another removal. Flicky Flack is flicky fucked. Ah, I thought I had something there. All right, so ball on a jump up, but he's going to foul again. Just uh, oh, three assists on this. That's enough to break and KO Teresa Mame. Now Jim might be, uh, Jim might have to, unfortunately, but there's another send off. Jim might have to back off now. I think, I think he missed his chance. Uh, through no fault of his own, really. <laughs> uh, but I don't, I don't think he's, uh, I don't think he's going to outlast Colian in a in a scrum for the ball for three turns. Yeah, I mean those KOs, those KO rolls are going to be pretty massive. I mean, luckily, I mean, I just think some of those fouls by Colian were not. Not the best. He had to make that last one, I guess, but. And Jim just cannot get a fucking bow today. Yeah, he's going to have to just loosely screen this. And, uh, yep, so here's the case. Jim's probably not going to get another sniff at that ball. All this because of a six-plus catch in the rain. Uh, Jim's got to feel a little hard done by that, but uh, still has a chance in this game. You know, Elves, you know, he's got to make some KO rolls, and, uh, boy, does he want to win that coin toss. But um, it is definitely not over. But what was looking really, really good after a few – very questionable turns is suddenly looking pretty uncomfortable for Jim. And Jim's just, surely he's just got to run away at this point. Maybe just hit a zombie to see if he can get a cheeky, uh, cheeky removal, but... Yeah. 
and gets him down, but not not much you can do about that. That witch is probably going to run to the other side of the field. Well, I guess she probably doesn't have to move anywhere. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, what's that? Three, six, seven, eight, eight people for a move in eight one turn. Too frenzy though. If he gets the witch back, maybe. I don't know. I don't know if you can do. I don't think with eight people you can do the double frenzy. Like, oh, well. The one and nine there, not really costly, but uh, ends the turn. No damage. That was a very brief moment in my head where I thought that was turn sixteen. <laughs> Not goalie and made a boo boo, <laughs> but that is not the case. Yeah, I'm up at the way this team is built. I mean, that, he's kind of ride or die on those one and nines. Like, if he doesn't roll them like he hasn't been until now, then it's a pretty good team build. <laughs> but if he rolls them like we all expect to roll one and nines, it's a terrible team build. Maybe not terrible, but it's a risky team build. And there's the score. It's 1-1. Uh, we'll see how those KOs shape up. I think Jim's probably just thinking about overtime and not a one turn here. Yeah, just gets the Witch back. That's not going to be enough. Uh, so Jim desperately needs those two players back for OT. So right now we're on nine on six. Eight. Best Jim can do is eight players. But if it's a nine on eight and Jim wins the toss, I, I bet on the elves in that one. So Jim's just going to set up for a riot here. And, uh, you know, you know, uh, probably... I'd, uh, you know, I, I'd question Colian's defensive choice here. I mean, I guess I get it, but yeah, a, a riot sure would. Um... <laughs> oh man, I think I froze again. No, I didn't. Let's go up. Oh, Colian, Colian's just milking the clock there. Didn't even notice. And no riot, so no matters. <laughs> well, I guess the, the, the weather change, uh, we'll see who wins the toss. I think Jim probably at this point would have preferred the rain to stay in case Colin does. And Jim going for the vanity pass, <laughs> which, he, which he makes just to offset the dice, does nothing in a res format, and only gets one KO back. We're looking at nine on seven. Who wins the toss basically wins the game here. Well, maybe not true for Jim. And the Necro won the toss. And wouldn't you know it, Jimmy, once again, with a uh, pretty uh, pretty rough first game in Blitzpit, cannot shake those game one jitters. And really no fault of his own on this one. Uh, Jim got one out of two back. Yeah, yeah, a blitz, a blitz with his, uh, you know, four elves that are not going to be base could do maybe something.
All right. And Colian, uh, well, Colian not protecting the uh, Blitz short kick at all. But, um, yeah, th I mean, this is even with the Blitz. And, nope, it's a throw rock, but it is the Wolf. I'm just stunned. Deep kick, you know. Can't ever truly count a Dark Elf team out, but... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Jim, I mean, basically, Jim just needs to flood his elves into the backfield. I mean, uh, Barry, assuming there's a 1-9 on the pickup, Jim just floods in the backfield and then prays. But, um... Yeah. <laughs> But seriously, given the blitz that Colian got earlier in this game, that that offensive setup by him was just begging, was just begging for trouble. Bien joué. Le ballon est à lui. And there's uh there's the clean pickup on a 5. Leaves the ball deep. We've seen this before where an elf team just cuts the ball off and then, uh, yep, that's what Jim's going to pretty much have to try and do here. Not sure how he gets the majority of his team through, though. Maybe he uh, 1Ds through the... Uh... No, no, he can 2D through. Okay. 2Ds, yeah, 2Ds through this ghoul here. Doesn't get the pow. Got a second shot at it with Frenzy. And... <laughs> uh, so now he's just going to have to run through the hard way, get some players back. Would love to get one more player in front of that wolf, but I don't think uh, the dice are going to let that one happen. Really, really had a shot here. But given that Colian didn't send anyone else back to support the ball, if he had gotten that ghoul down, he could have brought that witch through. Might might have even considered trying it anyway, but now he can cage up no problems. Yeah, yeah. I, I think uh I think uh I would have considered I mean it's hard to say, but I would have considered continuing on with that witch uh who got the who, who did the blitz on the ghoul just to get that player in the middle, make Coley and have to pow someone to get through clean. Time to let a dog in. Well, I have a dog hiding under my desk now, which means I think there's a thunderstorm coming through. So if I do just randomly abandon you guys, it's because we lost power, but it's not raining yet, so we'll see. <laughs> and now Jim's just going to have to try and stay in front of the Necro and wait for a cage dive, basically. <laughs> Oh, 
Ces joueurs sont tout proches. Le combat paraît inévitable. L'attaquant bénéficie de soutien. This is this is like one of the one of the worst feelings in Blood Bowl at this point is when you're just kind of down players stuck in overtime and you just know like all you can really do is just kind of wait wait through it you know like you're praying for a horrific mistake by your opponent McCollian again not really leveraging the player advantage all that much Jim can base the ball here as little good as that'll do him. It can be done. <laughs> Changes his mind there. Oh, and gets in with the cage dive, and look at that. The 1D is good, and the ball is loose. And uh, that was pretty catch. Didn't even see that coming right off the bat. But there's the cage dive, and here comes the witch. Grabs the ball in the tackle zone. One dodge to save. Oh, no, I think she's out of movement. She is out of movement. That's unfortunate. But, uh, wow, that's about as good as you could hope for. Wouldn't mind another elf out there. And there's the one. Unbelievable. Jim having a rough game getting the basics done, but in the clutch, he's made some pretty decent rolls. So now, boy, would he love to see this... Uh, <laughs> See this witch elf survive these two frenzy hits. Non-tackle. There's one fail. And there's the other. And look at that. All of a sudden, this is Jimmy's game to lose. Not in scoring range, though. And a 1-9 by that ghoul can put some real pressure on her. But man, has this turned around in a flash. One could say that Jimmy has just... Uh, Blitz pitted the fuck. Do do over. Do over. Jim really blitzed his no, he didn't get a blitz. No. Do over. This game is really just Ah, we're done. We're done with this one. I tried. I tried twice. Three three strikes now. I'm out. <laughs> no, 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 I'm not. I'm good. I'm good. Talking to yourself for an hour is a lot different than talking to, you know, <laughs> talking for an hour with someone to bounce things off of. Oh, and there's, there's the one D pal into an injury. Oh my God. The fucking worst play possible. Fucking yep. rewarded. Fuck yep. you. Yep. Yep. I actually, I forgot the blitz was even coming and that was just some hot garbage right there. And fails a GFI deserve deserves a snake on that. Well, might as well high roll him, Jim. Might as well high roll him. Yeah, that hard done. I mean, again, Jim had a had a hell of a turn to get the ball into her hands at all, but probably deserved a little bit more than a 1D pow into a casualty. Ladies and gentlemen, Blood Bowl. <laughs> But there he is. 
Squirrels away with the ball again. Ferrets away, ferrets away with the ball. I forget. Looking for all the dice, and why not? Gets them all, and now I think we are. <laughs> <laughs> I think we are out of range of everyone, and suddenly it's going to take a miracle for Jim. <laughs> what a game, folks. This has been uh, the second uh, the second I wrote this one off for dead, and here you go. <laughs> Jimmy Fantastic on the verge of his first ever, I assume, win spin win. No, I've won some. I've won some, school. My <laughs> first round. Sorry, first round, I bet. <laughs> no, I think, I, I think I've won the first round before, yeah. Oh, did you? Okay. Yeah. I, for some reason, I thought you were... You were really quite a few, you know. Huh? I've been quite a few. I think I won once. <laughs> The worst thing is, it's not even as if I've lost the first two and gone out. I've always like you know lost, yeah. then won, then lost. Or, no, I, or I, I know you've won them. games. I meant I meant specifically first round. Yeah, no, I'm sure I've won in the first round once. Yeah. All right, you're slightly better than Andy Davo at CCL playoffs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, Look at God. this! What a game! I gotta tell Jim, I, I I can't wait to hear your perspective on this game. Oh god, I couldn't believe it. he didn't re-roll the fucking honestly not re-rolling the frenzy hit because he I was going to rely on a one in a one in a, a one in nine dodge into a 1D and then fucking made it. Get the fuck out of here. Wow. Wow. How'd you feel about that uh I'm actually curious your opinion on that uh, that pitch invasion. <laughs> Because like it's it's always shocking to see, but ultimately it wasn't going to really matter that much. That <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, it doesn't automatically lose you the drive, but like the blitz, it puts you on the back foot for the entire drive, doesn't it? Like yeah. It, yeah. it got him to it gave him the massive foul on the uh, on the blitzer, which caused him and stuff. So like, <laughs> well, congratulations, Jimmy, fantastic commiserations, Coley and X X X X X X X. <laughs> That was one of the better games of Blood Bowl we've seen in the Blitz Spit in a while. Yeah. 63 blocks. I mean, he did make loads of removals, but yeah, I gave up tons of blocks. So. <laughs> 14 GFIs passed them all. Made loads of crazy dice rolls. So I couldn't really complain. It was just annoying that he made such a horrible play and then got rewarded. Only three scores. 15, that, 21, that, that was that, that was something. That was something else. <laughs> I'm gonna mute my sec. I gotta run outside and just uh, cover up some plants because I'm about to get uh, a mega storm coming through here. But I will be right back for your next game. Okie dokie, cheers. Yep. Oh god. So yeah, you know, he had, that fucking one catch that he made was a six plus, and I even forgot about the fucking rain. So I put two guys on him, so it would be a six plus catch, and then he rolled a six, and I was like, fuck's sake. <laughs> but um, oh. Right, anyway, thanks everybody. Now, I had some fucking good players, to be fair. I rolled some good dice and good players, but the fucking Blitz was super unlucky. The pitch invasion was super unlucky because it just... It didn't instantly put you out of the... Like, it didn't win the drive instantly for him, but it, it, it meant that I was... Ne you know, it, it, it made him get to hit the runner. It made him get to make big fouls. It let him lock people down away from dodging and stuff. So, like, it was, it was really rough. So, uh... I think I had some really bad kickoff events, but then I had some really good sequences and obviously really good block dice in general. Incredible block dice. That's ridiculous block dice. Um, ridiculous GFIs. Loads of my judges were like three pluses and four pluses. That's probably not even that bad. So yeah, fair play to Colian. Um, right, thanks for watch. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.